Hey there, I'm Mastin Kip, founder of thedailylove.com and author of the book, Daily Love, Growing Into Grace, and welcome to Daily Love TV. We had a daily lover write in and say, hey Mastin, you know, how do I find someone who loves me as much as I love them? And I thought this was such a profound question, because think about it, right? How many times have you experienced, in a romantic way or not, unrequited love, where you put yourself out there, and you get nothing back, right? It might be in romance. I can tell you I've had a business partnership like that for sure, where you give and give and give and give and give, and when it's time for yours, you're left asking yourself, well, where's mine, right? You ever had this thought? You ever been in this place? I can tell you I have. I know lots of daily lovers have too, and my guess is you've probably been there. So the question is, how do you find someone who loves you as much as you love them? Well, I think that that question has an interesting presupposition, which is it's not about finding someone else who loves you as much as you love them. That's not the issue at hand. The issue at hand always, whether it's a business relationship, a romantic relationship, family, friends, every relationship is teaching us about our own level of self-care and self-love. And when you find yourself in the position where you're giving, 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 the real question is, why aren't you allowing yourself to receive? See, it could be that low self-esteem or low self-worth is really running the show. You think, well, you know what, I'm just gonna give, 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 because I don't deserve to receive. Or you might have a story around receiving, well, if I receive something, maybe I owe them something, or you know, I'm not worthy of this, or whatever the story might be. But I can tell you, if you put yourself in the giver's position, the giver's position is much more powerful than the receiver's position, because to receive is to be put into a vulnerable position. So the first step in really finding partnerships, romance, friends, people in your life that really are on that same page with you where you feel reciprocated is you got to start to look at yourself and ask yourself, well, if I love myself, if I looked at myself the way I looked at people I loved and cared about, well, how would my behavior change? What standards would I raise? Who would I let go of? Who would I say yes to? What new habits would I form? Because disappointment in relationships always point us back to ourselves and make us ask the question, well, what did I need to learn from this? And many times, whether if you've been cheated on or if there's been unrequited love, the lesson always comes back to trusting yourself and to loving yourself and taking care of yourself. See, Byron Katie talks a lot about, especially in romantic relationships, she said, everything you've ever told your partner was for you to hear. Take that in for a second. Everything you've ever told your partner was for you to hear. Now, if that were true, whoa, think about that for a second, right? You probably said some interesting things to some people in your time. If it were true that everything you've said to your partner, your business partner, your romantic partner, friends or family they have problems with was for you to hear, how would you start to take your own advice? How would you start to love yourself differently? What standards would you raise? Because a lot of times, at the beginning of relationships or business partnerships, there's that part of you that says, you know what, something's off here, but you want to give because you want to maybe not let somebody down. So you keep going and you got to set the standard of being able to say no and not really have, and being risking disappointing people. There's lots of different things that can hold us back from really trusting ourselves. And as I'm talking about it, I'm sure you're thinking about it. Well, gosh, you know, my last relationship, I was what? In your last business partnership or your last friendship where there was disappointment, or there's unrequited love, think about it. How are you holding yourself back? How are your standards low? How are you not trusting yourself? What was the lesson for you to learn more about how to love yourself in that last relationship? Because the cool thing about life is that once you learn the lesson, it's like you graduate, right? And a whole new level of experience and relationship and people comes in. However, if you don't learn the lesson, you get sent back through the grade and you try to retake the test over and over again, which is sometimes why you tend to meet or attract the same people in different shoes over and over and over again because you haven't learned the lesson of self-trust, of self-care, of better standards, of what you're really worth, the fact that you do matter. Relationships come bearing lessons that always point back to you. Look in the mirror and ask yourself, what is this teaching me about myself, my self-love, and my self-care? you will find the answer. And when you change that answer and you learn the lesson, you will graduate to a new level of experience in your relationship. And that is how you find someone who loves you as much as you love them. It's about self-love, self-care, and self-trust. Now, you might be watching this video over on YouTube or over on Facebook. Head on over to thedaylove.com and leave a comment below this video. Let me know how 
you are going to apply these lessons. What have these, le- these relationships taught you? What are you learning currently about self-love, self-trust, and self-care? In the comments below the video, let me know. And if you've been in the dumps in a relationship, if you've experienced unrequited love, if you've given and given and given and never gotten back, and then finally learned the lesson and have a success story to share with us, I'd also love to hear with you. Head on over to thedaylove.com. Below this video, leave your success story too, because I do believe that together we can grow into who we're meant to be. As always here at Day Love TV, my great wish for you is to find courage, get out there, take action, and make it real. We'll see you next week.